What's up everyone, this is Cybernod, and today I have another really special opening for you guys because today I'm going to open up a Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D's Turbo Warrior tin for you guys. So yeah, this is one of those tins that is very tough to find these days. I was able to get it off eBay whenever Black Friday was going on. Had like a coupon where it helped me, you know, save a little bit of a percentage off on it. Of course, that's all over now. But uh, anyway, I thought I would pick one of these tins up because, uh, yeah, this tin just has a lot of good cards in it. And it was, uh, I believe, the first wave of these tins too because the other one you could get was Black Rose Dragon. This one's pretty cool, though, because I kind of like Turbo Warrior. I mainly just like how he has, like, a pompadour or whatever you call it. Kind of like Johnny Bravo hair. And uh, really, too, these tins have some good packs in them because you get two of Crossroads of Chaos. You get one of Duelist Genesis, one of Light of Destruction, and one of Phantom Darkness. Not only that, too, you also get a promotion pack, which I believe, I think it's the tokens, if I remember correctly. It's, it's been a while. So, yeah, let's go ahead and open this up, see what we get. Also, did it say what year? Yeah, 2008. Wow, that's been a while. <laughs> that's been 10 years. Man, time flies. Doesn't seem like it's been that long ago since Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds. That still kind of feels like a new series, even though, yeah, we've had quite a few afterwards. Weird how time can fly. That's what I like about opening up these older tins as well, because it, it just seems, I don't know, just a lot of nostalgia and stuff from it. So there we go. You only get one promo card out of these, you know, the older tins like that. So here is Turbo Warrior, Secret Rare. Looks pretty awesome. I mean, again, I like the card. Um, it's nothing that crazy. I mean, maybe it'd be good in Duel Links or something because these synchros were just introduced. But yeah, I just kind of like his artwork. So <laughs> he's not like a crazy card or whatever. I don't even know if he was, he might have been in the show twice. I, I don't know. <laughs> it's been a while. And again, I'll show you guys our packs if we can get them. There we go. So two of Crossroads of Chaos. These are actually first edition, by the way, which... It's really tough to get first edition packs out of Crossroads. I don't think you can get a box of them. I think it's only the tens and sneak preview, I guess, back then. Then we have Duelist Genesis, of course, Lab Destruction, Phantom Darkness, and then our promo pack, which I'm going to go with that first. I believe this is the one with the tokens. That's what it looks like. And there were like random token cards you would get. So first off, you have like a little coupon thing. I think it was, yeah, it lets you go to a tournament. Um... It kind of expired <laughs> already in 2009. So, yeah, still kind of cool to hold on to, though. Then, of course, we have a rose token. Um, I forget what token this one's from. It's kind of interesting. And then even a double dude token. So that's pretty cool. Wish they would have made them holographic. But, yeah, they had several different ones. I don't know. There might have been eight different tokens. I forget exactly. But uh, let's just go ahead and start going through our packs. And also, too, if you guys love vintage pack openings, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, or ring that bell. Because, uh, yeah, I, I want to do more openings like this for sure. So uh, let me know as well what you would like to see in the future. There's another tin or, or whatever. Let's see, Wall of Ivy, Gadget Hauler, Poison Chain, and... Oh, okay, it's a rare. <laughs> I thought it was uh, a hollow for a second. We have Trap of the Imperial Tomb. So yeah, you're not guaranteed hollows, obviously. So this is going to be a tough one. Man, it's cool to see all these, though, in first edition. Again, like I said, it was, it was one of those weird sets. I forget why it happened, but it was just, it's, like, really tough to get, like, a first ed Black Rose for that reason. Even when I was hunting for Ghost Rare Black Rose uh, for that series, like, you couldn't find a first edition box, you know, to get one. So you would have to get one, I guess, mainly from a tin or sneak preview. Electronic Monitor. Fragrant Storm. And Cactus Fighter this time. And, yeah, we actually did get a hollow. Okay, I forgot. It's 5D, so it's rarer than hollow. <laughs> that threw me off. So we got Psychokinesis. What's funny is I think I got the same card the first time I opened up this tin. And I didn't record it back then. I don't think I did uh, really any opening videos back then. But that is so cool to see. And we are getting new Psychic Monsters, actually, too. I believe... Savage Strike is actually introducing some new ones. So maybe this will come in handy again. I don't know, but pretty interesting to see, especially whenever Psychics were like the new type of card. It, either way, I mean, I got to purchase an Ultra Rare from Crossroads. I'm happy. <laughs> That's good. What else do we have here? Datatron and Ghost and Match. Oh, there you go. You can get that as a hollow now, at least from Hidden Summoners. Unfortunately, it's like one of the only good cards from that set. That set just did not do well, did it? There we go. All right, the Duelist Genesis. Come on, Stardust, right? Or Red Dragon Archer would be great. Any Synchro, really. That's how it used to be with this set. It's like, just give me a Synchro. Let me see, Judgment of Thunder. Then we have a Mind Over Matter, another Psychic card. 
Kind of cool. And aw, no hollow from that one. Crebons. <laughs> Remember using that token monster with everything back then. Or token monster? Tuner monster. Sorry. <laughs> I said that wrong. Uh, let's see. Light of Destruction. Honest? Please? The set that brought us Light Swords. Yeah. <laughs> and they're still good today. Not like insane as they used to be, but you still see them from time to time. Summon Limit. I think that's actually supposed to be really good to get. So uh, I think we did pretty well with that. And uh, we got Wolf Lightsworn Beast. Well, there we go. I actually got a Hollow. Yeah, these these two are actually from GX. So it was with 5Ds where you get a rare and a Hollow. So it started with Duel's Genesis and they're on, you know. But uh, with GX, it was rare or Hollow, just like in the original series. So I forgot about that. So yeah, Lab Destruction, we actually got a Hollow, which is Wolf Lightsworn Beast. Remember getting a few of these back in the day because, yeah, you mail them to the graveyard, you instantly get to bring them on the field. Actually pretty scary back in the day, but the game's changed so much now. Uh, it's kind of funny. But that is pretty cool. I like the artwork and everything too with it. Anything else? Oh, we got one of the Cloudians. And even a Hero Mask. Well, that's cool. I'm glad I at least got a Hollow, though. I remember one of them, I, I think it was like the, the higher level one. I can't think of its name right now, unfortunately. I remember getting an Ultimate Rare of it at the Saint Preview back in the day. So, that's been a while. Let's see, Phantom Darkness. Okay, last pack. So, I gotta say it. What can we end with? Can we with the hollow? And honestly, too, I should have noticed this. Loud destruction. Phantom darkness. <laughs> that that should give me good luck. I should I should point that out, right? Those are actually the ones that are behind me. So let's see. I love just the designs of both those. Anyway, that's the reason I have them behind me. Two of my favorite sets that came out in GX, and two sets that really changed the game. Actually, too. Rainbow Veil. Some sort of Lotus. A oh, Cyber uh, or Boros. I always thought he was cool. <laughs> Just like the design. And we have Lone Fire Blossom, which was a pretty good rare back then. Unfortunately, not a hollow, but it was a good rare to get back then. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> there we go. That's the opening. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Had some really good luck with this, too. And was there anything under this one? Okay, no. This was before they started including the sleeves and all that. But, uh, yeah, I'm just glad I had some good luck with this. And, of course, like I said, getting, you know, first edition packs to Crossroads is really tough anyways. But, uh, yeah, just let me know what you guys think. And, uh, of course, like I said, what openings you'd like to see. And be sure to like, subscribe, ring that bell before you leave. And if you want to see more openings like this, like I said, you don't want to miss out. Because, again, I spent uh, quite a bit on Black Friday. And uh, we have a lot of different openings and just things on the way. So I hope you guys are looking forward to it. And, of course, I will catch you guys later. See ya.